What is going on everybody? This is Chase back with my official review of a game called Overclock. Has not even been out a week yet. It's absolutely free in the App Store. Now, before I brought this game to my channel, I have been no-lifing it for the past three days. I've put in at least eight hours and in fact at the time of this voiceover, I put in even more time than what I've recorded here because I wanted to make sure the game was good enough for the channel. I don't like to start playing games that I'm only going to do once and then never play them again, especially the genre you guys know me for, which is third person shooters. Well, the crazy thing is with this one, this looks like another third person shooter, right? Wrong! You can be first person shooter or third person shooter, which is really, really unique. You can do either one depending on the viewpoint you want to look at. Now, the first person view looks pretty awesome. I actually prefer the animation on the first person shooter, but for me, I will stick with third person probably because I like the wider angle. I can see more of the map, and it's what I'm used to. Now, the amazing thing about this game, it is the fourth or fifth. No, you know what? I'm not even going to guess. It might be the seventh or eighth in the Battle Bears series. Now, a lot of you have played Battle Bears. I'll be honest. I've tried playing Battle Bears before. People are always giving me suggestions of shooters to play. I could never get into the game, and I never brought it to the channel. Well, I saw you done son put this up on his channel a couple days ago, and I thought, oh, you know what? I'll download it. I'll try it. It looks, looks kind of fun. And I'm telling you right now, this is a very, very unique game, guys. It is very, very unique, and I love it. Okay, it's very different from any game we're used to. For one, the maps are just kind of big, wide open. They're really fun. The gameplay's fast. You can find a guy really, really quick. You can run around super fast and get guys. And you have these abilities, these cool abilities that do different things. Like, you can throw out a sword. You can do um, abilities like you basically disappear and like reappear three seconds later, different things like that. There's a bunch of abilities, which I'm gonna be bringing a lot of this game to the channel, so I'll talk about the abilities. You have a primary and secondary weapon. Then you've got these things that you can just like bounce around on and just shoot yourself way up in the, the sky and stuff. So it's really unique. Custom matches, that's cool. Um, chat available on the main menu, not uh, in game with people you're playing with, but in the main win menu, there's there's chat. You have all these different heroes. Most of the uh, heroes and weapons are unlockable with gold too, which is also very interesting because you get gold by winning and then you could use that gold to upgrade your hero's armor or to buy new weapons, things like that. But the game seems fairly balanced to me. I mean, I, I was getting owned. I had to get used to it because the gameplay style is so stinking different than anything I'm used to. Uh, I really had to get used to the gameplay style, so don't get frustrated if you're getting owned at first. Like, I was getting owned for probably the first five hours, and you guys know me. I'm, I'm fairly good at shooter games, and I just had to practice and figure out kind of the mechanics of the game. Now, one thing that's a little different is when you are shooting a player, it takes a long time to kill them. A lot of times, you'll unload a whole round on somebody, and then they'll be running away, and you have to kind of chase them down, and then, like, unload another round or use an ability on them. Guys take a while to kill, and I don't know if that's the weapon I'm using... I don't think it is, because even uh, other people who are using better weapons, it seems like it takes them a long time. Just an observation compared to what I'm used to. Now, the other amazing thing about this game is I love playing games where the developer is fully vested in the game. And no lie, man, I'm in the game, in the chat, and I'm just hanging out there, and I see this guy show up. His name's Ben. Ben Vu. This game is developed by a group called Sky Vu. Ben Vu is the CEO of this game. He's literally sitting in game chat, just talking to players, answering questions, which, guys, developers don't do that. That is amazing. That is really gives credence to the game for me. So I really like this game. I think a lot of you have probably play played Battle Bears before, and I don't know if you've liked it or not. You can let me know if you played before and what you thought about it. This one's very different. By the way, the name Overclock is an awesome name. And I don't think anybody's going to know this little tidbit. In fact, I'm curious if Ben watches this video, if he can answer this for me. Um, he, he probably won't, actually, because maybe, maybe this might not be the thing that uh, he would want to say. But I'll say it. I think they stole the name <laughs> from, uh, or maybe they had it already, from a game that I don't know if any of you know this game. A game called Overwatch. I'm going to show a gameplay of Overwatch real quick. Overwatch is a game on PC made by Blizzard that's currently in beta. In fact, one of my good friends messaged me and he's like, dude, check this game out. This looks like something you'd be interested in. And he didn't really understand that I'm mobile only. If I wasn't mobile, it'd be a game that I would be playing. 
but Overwatch is interesting. It's a Blizzard game. That, it has different heroes. They have abilities, so there's a lot of similarities. You can bounce around, do a lot of the same stuff. And at first, when I saw Battle Bearers and the Overclock, I'm like, come on. Who wants to run around like a little freaking teddy bear with a gun? This just seems so pansy. And uh, I, I kind of wrote it off, guys. I kind of wrote it off, but I thought, you know what? I'll try it. And I got hooked. I got addicted. So I'm going to be making some room on the channel. I have too many games on the channel right now. I'm going to be more concentrated on a few games yet to be uh, yet to be announced. A few games that I think are the best games. And most of those games will be shooter games. Um, so this is going to be a series on my channel. I'll be doing different gameplays, different weapons. And let me know what types of things would you like me to s like to see me do. My long-term subscribers and new subscribers. What would you like to see from me with this game? All right, guys, thanks for watching. That's my official review of Overclock. Take care. We'll see you in the next one.